Hi, in this video, we're going to go over problem two in the Project Euler uh, collection of problems. So uh, this one's actually pretty straightforward. And so what I want to do is make a solution that's maybe a little bit more complex. Uh, as you know, if you've gone through the other videos, I try to make the really uh, complex problems very simple. But with this one, I want to play around with it a little bit and actually build a class that could solve pretty much any Project Euler 2 question. So uh, let's let's get into that. So um, I guess it'd probably help if I went over the question. Uh, each new term in the Fibonacci sequence is generated by adding the previous two terms. So we've already covered the Fibonacci sequence, um, but by starting with one and two, the first 10 terms will be one, two, you add two to one to get three, three gets added to two all the way down the line. So by considering the terms in the Fibonacci sequence whose values do not exceed 4 million, find the sum of the even valued terms. So this is a key. Find the sum of the even valued terms. Now there's a number of ways we could do this. We probably could even get this down uh, pretty easily to uh, a one, uh, one line of code that would do it. But instead, let's actually uh, go and uh, build out a full program that uh, you could read line by line. So I'm going to create a, a class. I'm going to call it Project Euler2. And in it, I'm going to create an initializer method. So I'm going to, if I can spell it right, I'm initialize and I'm passing an argument in as the max. So for the question, it asks for uh, 4 million. So that's what we'll pass into it when we actually uh, get the point of running it. Now inside the initialize method, I'm going to set up a few variables. So I'm going to set up num1, set it equal to zero. I also set this one equal to zero. All of them I'm going to be setting to zero except for the last one. So sum and num2 set equal, I'm sorry, num2 needs to be uh, set equal to one. And then the max is simply going to be set to the max. So that's uh, that's going to take care of our attributes for, uh, for what we're going to be doing here. Now let's create a method in here called even Fibonacci. Okay, so we first want to loop until we hit our max. So I'm just going to create a while loop here and say while uh, i is less than or equal to the max. Sometimes Sublime uh, isn't great with that uh, or with uh, their autocomplete. They think I want to do a few weird things. Um, okay, so while this is a case, while i is less than or equal to the max, I want to increment the iterator by the current and previous values. So here I want to set i equal to num1 plus num2. That's pretty straightforward. And now I want to add the value of the iterator to the sum with each iteration. So the sum value, I'm going to simply increment it up by i. And, but I only want to do this if the instance variable i is even. And the way you can get that is by doing i modulo 2 equal to 0. So when, and this is something that's important for you. Uh, this is something that seems to come up with uh, in programming interviews or anything like that is uh, give me something where when it the loop hits a uh, an even number then you do this kind of output it's really easy to get you just say whatever the value is modulo 2 is equal to 0 and that will give you the uh, the even numbers so we're wanting to add that value to the sum only if they're even and now we want to swap the values, uh, or not some, uh, want to swap the values of num1 and num2. And then we want to set num2 equal to the iterator. And this is all just part of the Fibonacci side of it. So I'm going to set num2 equal to i. And then the last thing we want to do is this method should return the sum. 
Okay, that's all we have to do. It's pretty, like I said, this is a pretty straightforward program, uh, and we did not need to do all this. Uh, this is, there's ways or ways to write this. I just wanted you to be able to practice and building classes and initializers and that kind of thing, even if it's much more uh, kind of uh, uh, just over the top in terms of what this kind of implementation would actually need. So now let's create a new instance of the class and we're gonna pass in 4 million. And let's see, so we want the result set and then we wanna call e the even Fibonacci method on it. So let's run this. Projectular2.rb, nope. Oh, I guess it probably would uh, help if I printed out the value. So print that out, run it again, and there we go. The answer is, uh, let's see, 4,613,732, and you can check it. That is the correct solution, so nice work.